Coming out of the U.S. Open, I felt very positive for a few reasons. The first was the performance of the athletes. They competed at a level of intensity on the court that was really impressive. And at the same time, they did so with real respect for each other and the officials. They demonstrated true sportsmanship and the pace of play was as high as I've ever seen. During the event, I had the chance to sit in on the PSA officiating meetings that they have each morning to review the previous day and their performance. They look at all the videos and discuss their calls, warts and all. The early rounds were a little messy for a host of reasons. However, as I mentioned, the glass court play and the officiating there was excellent. And I don't think this combination is a coincidence. We even saw a few match balls determined by an overruled call made by the video referee. The call was overruled to the correct call, which means the process is working. And that we're making progress in officiating the sport in the way it needs to be officiated. I want to thank the people involved in the program, the WSF, the PSA, and our own Rich Wade, and all the referees for continuing to push on this effort. Now, that doesn't mean it's perfect, and it never will be, at any level. Just look at how the NFL or even tennis struggle with this. However, we have seen great progress so far. On the junior side of things, we're also making progress. The feedback that I get from the community is that the Atmosphere Junior Tournaments has improved. We're also aware of the fact that we're going through a transition now, for everyone, and we know we have more work to do, all of us do. With more of a focus on officiating at every level and continually improving it, it lets us push for clarity on the rules regardless of who's officiating or competing. At the end of the day, the concept central to complying with the rules is actually quite simple. Rule 12, interference. Once a player strikes the ball, he or she must make every effort to get out of the way to provide unobstructed direct access. At the same time, the retriever needs to take a path to the ball, not via the player, rather via the natural path, which involves a give and take by both players. The officials we train have much more clarity on this and we need to make sure everyone does too. In part because players need to be penalized for not clearing properly. This lack of clarity has caused real confusion and has led to players to believe the ball striker should expect a no let call against the retriever, even if he or she didn't clear. However, the call should more likely be, and appropriately so, a stroke against the striker. If you take a step back and look at the situation, it's really pretty simple. It's the fundamental interaction that makes squash such a special sport. Once you hit the ball, you need to make every effort to clear, and if you don't, you risk losing the point. This also means that if you hit a loose shot in the middle or near yourself, you have to pay the price. It should be obvious that the striker is not entitled to be in the middle of the court if the ball is hit there too. It should also go without saying, however it needs to be said, that blocking subtly or not is not allowed under any circumstances. The retrieving player has every right to have an unobstructed path to the ball. To help the community with these concepts and in improving the atmosphere overall at tournaments, we're hosting information sessions with coaches and pros as well as parents at our tournaments. We also offer clinics and clubs to cover the basics and the rules, so please let us know if you'd like one at your club. We're the only country that offers age-appropriate online certification for juniors. We're also providing more volunteer officials on-site at tournaments to teach and mentor players, and we're encouraging other tournament directors to do the same. In the end, we all have a responsibility, and just like the players on the court need to know their role, whether striking or retrieving, the parents, coaches, and officials also need to know their roles. We all have a part to play in creating and sustaining the culture we want in the sport one that values honesty, courtesy, and respect. And we believe that playing squash gives us the chance to practice these every time we play, and we're all better for it. Thank you.